All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about something that's been on my mind for a long time. Um, I'm not going to drag it on too long. I mean, everybody's going through this. Uh, it's about inflation and where this country is headed. Um, so, I wrote some things down, some things that I'd like to cover. Uh, first of all, inflation. We're all getting hit by this, and it's horrible. It's just terrible. We went shopping, well, when we go shopping, you know, our cart is maybe a quarter way full of stuff. And, you know, we got over $200 worth of stuff in there. You know, you're looking in your cart and you're like, where is this $200? But things are getting so ridiculously out of hand and expensive is I don't know how some people are making it. So, <clears throat> some things I wrote down here. Uh, so in the past four years, we've known, we've seen the inflation just go way out of hand, okay? So in the last 30 years, if you had a million dollars 30 years ago, today that same million dollars wouldn't even be worth half of what it was, okay? You go to any inflation calculator, go online and type in 1993, roughly, uh, $1 million dollars. And to have that same million dollars today, you'd need over two million. Purchasing power, that is. In the last 20 years, salaries have increased 20% in the last 20 years. But the cost of a house went up 148%. There's a problem right there, okay? Uh, the average person drives, you know, 50, $60,000 cars and they're only making 50 grand a year. And student debts of over $100,000, I mean, how do people make it? You're just living check by check. And you can't, it's not sustainable. You lose your job, you're screwed. So what's high in this country? Okay, we have illegal migration, first of all. We got gas, housing, unemployment, Crime, taxes, corruption, and the list goes on and on and on. Those are the things that are high in this country. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it's getting harder and harder just to make ends meet. And I know a lot of you watch my channel and you think, oh, you're doing really good, Pete. You know, you got this and that. Yeah, I'm very grateful for all that I have. But, you know, truth be told, I'm going broke. <laughs> I can't buy things like I used to buy anymore. You know, I was doing well uh, years ago. I, I was doing very well. Um, I had rental properties and uh, I made some pretty good investments. And I did well. But lately I did some bad investments and uh, not doing so well at all. I lost a lot of money. And uh, we're hurting here too, you know, just like everywhere else. And believe me when I tell you this, YouTube is not paying me that much. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's almost not worth it, to tell you the truth. But um, I like giving you information of, uh, you know, gardening, basic homesteading stuff. I, I, I like doing that. Uh, but as far as is it worth it monetarily, no, it's not. It's not at all. We're not making that much here at all. Uh, it would if we got millions of views. <laughs> We just don't get those here. <clears throat> Our topics are not interesting enough, put it that way. If I did videos more like uh, Mr. Beast, then uh, I guess I'd get a million views. But if you want to watch stuff like that, you go, go to TikTok and, uh, and watch your brain just disintegrate. So, yeah, the inflation here has gotten way out of hand. What I would like is if you guys a comment, put your comments you know, your questions or whatever in the comments. Uh, talk amongst yourselves. What could be the cause of all this? Um, you know, we're all blaming Biden. His administration, you know, has a lot to do with this. But don't think for a minute, not even a second, that he's running this country because he's just an empty vessel as, as far as I'm concerned. Anybody that cannot put two words together or even a sentence together 
uh, can't run a country, okay? It, somebody else is running this country, and uh, it's, well, whatever. Other people are running this country, <laughs> put it that way. Um, and they're not doing it, doing it for the better, okay? They're doing it for the worse. They want to destroy this country. Um, well, I might as well just say it. The leftist agenda in this country is terrible, okay? What this wokeism, uh, what they're teaching, this crap they're teaching uh, kids in the schools, um, they're, they're destroying the country uh, financially and the morals of this country. It's going to hell in a, in a hay basket, um, to put it bluntly. On the other hand, we don't, we're seeing a rise of nationalism too, um, which is very far right. That's not that good either. Don't think that's good. I mean, it's good to, to, to be, you know, to, to, to love your country and all that stuff. That's great. I like that. And um, even patriotism, that's good too. Now, if you go too far right, you're going to have certain laws being pushed upon us, uh, mandates and stuff uh, that we don't, we won't like. Okay, uh, so you you don't want to go too far left is where we're at for today, and you don't want to go too far on the right either. Okay, so there has to be a balance in everything. You can't just go, you know all the way to one side because uh, that's not good either. Like I said, there would be laws implemented and, and mandates and things and that, uh, that are just not right. Things forced upon us. So that's not good either. Uh, so yeah, there has to be a balance. Um, I don't see things getting better in this country. Um, and I've mentioned this in the past that there could possibly be a civil war in this country. Now, what the civil war would look like, I don't think it's going to look like it did back in, you know, the 1860s. But something, some type of civil war, um, I do believe it could happen here in the United States. Um, I've always mentioned in, in past videos uh, to get out of the cities. Uh, the cities are the worst place. Even if everything was just fine, the cities are the worst place to raise kids, uh, the worst place to be in, the, the traffic, the congestion, the rat race, uh, the hustle and bustle. It, it, it's not the way we're supposed to live, honestly. It, I, I don't believe it is anyways. Uh, I've always advocated to, well, I've always said to move out to the country, uh, and I said this years ago, but if you looked at prices of property now, it's almost impossible to do so today. Um, you're looking at prices at properties of, you know, like 10 acres uh, with a decent house on it. Uh, you're looking at, I don't know, four, half a million and up, uh, a nice house anyways. Out in the country, it, it's getting to the point where it's just getting too expensive. Now, you say to yourself, yeah, you can sell your house, you know, you got all that money in your house, um, but you have to buy one too. <laughs> so it's, you know, six of one, half dozen of the other, it's the same thing. You sell your house, you gotta buy another one, and it's gonna be expensive. Uh, don't try to time the markets, that, that doesn't work. Um, unless you know a crash is coming right around the corner, then maybe, but I, I don't know of anybody that's been lucky enough to figure and time the markets out like that. I've, I've heard, and I've even thought about doing this, or I've looked into it anyways, is moving out of the country. Now, there's a lot of Americans, Canadians, Europeans that are moving to other countries because they're tired of the politics, they're tired of the, the, the inflation, um, you know, government mandates, um, you name it, you know, it's, they're just tired of the rat race. And they want to move to a country where things are more laid back, slower. I've looked into uh, Central America, South America, um, those countries, they're, they're, um, 
exp the living expenses are way, way cheaper than they are here. Probably a quarter of what they are here. Uh, so we've looked into that also, and um, there is a few countries that we're interested in. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of um, Canadians, U uh, U.S. citizens, and Europeans that are, uh, even Australians that are uh, tired of what's going on in their country, and they want to get out. Now you're thinking, yeah, but down there you, you got your cartels, and you got all the crime, and this and that. That's what the news media leads you to believe. Imagine somebody from Central or South America looking at our news channels and looking at the murder rates and the crime and the, the you know, the, the robberies and the home break-ins. It's just, who would want to live here? I mean, seriously, who would want to live in any of the cities around here in the United States? They're crime-ridden, infested cesspools, as, as far as I'm concerned. So there are other countries that, are, like I said, are more laid back uh, with $1,500 a month of income. Um, you can live like a king. A lot of us are getting near uh, you know, retirement age. I know I am. I can start collecting in a couple of years. You know, with that income and what little bit I make off of YouTube, you know, we'd be doing pretty good in other countries. So that's one consideration that we've been thinking about and um, it's, it's something that I think you could uh, easily do. Those are the kind of things that have been bothering me lately is the way this country is going, the inflation's out of control, um, even considered moving, you know, moving to another country where it's um, way, way cheaper to live, way cheaper. Uh, like I said, for fifteen hundred dollars a month, you can live like a king or queen. Rents are like, you know, four or five hundred dollars a month rent on a two-bedroom, fully furnished apartments. Even um, it's it's crazy, you know. These people don't make much money down there, um, and we could take advantage of that as far as being from the U.S. and Canada and Europe uh, and, and Australia is to move to some of these Central and South American countries um, and like I said live very very well and beautiful weather to top it off that's another thing I'm tired about I'm tired of the weather here we go from two three months of no rain uh, 40 plus Celsius temperatures you know 105 108 degrees all summer long can't grow nothing in that it's just too hot and then the winters are you know normally just a little too cold to grow most things if you got a greenhouse like you know we have uh, we can grow a lot of uh, our um, cold hardy vegetables but then we get these cold arctic blasts that come down here and just end up killing whatever else you're trying to grow and it's just so frustrating so as far as weather, uh, you look at the uh, Central and South American countries, they look pretty darn good. You can grow a lot of tropical stuff all year round, nonstop, and um, very nice. And if you're in the mountains, in the higher altitudes in those countries, uh, the weather is like 70 degrees during the day and 60s at night. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weather. A lot of towns and a lot of small cities there in these, uh, you know, cities and, and towns up in the mountains, more peaceful, more laid back way of life. And it, it's something we've been considering and uh, we're looking into it, we'll see. You know, who knows, maybe you'll see me uh, homesteading from another country. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just, it's all talk right now. But it's uh, something we've been looking into, put it that way. And you should too, you know, look into these things. Would I be better off living here? Or would I, would I be better off living in one of these other countries where we're paying, you know, they're paying a quarter of what we're paying here for food, uh, housing, um, taxes, all that stuff. And, the, and it's not a third world country. I, you know, the news media here sh portrays these countries as third world. Uh, they're living in mud huts 
and the dirt floors and they're just, it's all poverty. That, nothing could be farther from the truth. They have everything we have here in the United States. I don't see any difference. I've done tons of research on these Central and South American countries and they're living great. Now these people don't have a lot of money down there, the, the people, the, you know, the citizens of those countries, but they do well with what little they have. Where whereas here, we're the land of plenty, you know, there's a lot of uh, people have a little more than they really need uh, just to uh, keep up with the Joneses, and that's that's baloney. That that is just like I said, driving around a sixty thousand dollar car, making fifty grand a year. That's that's just stupidity. Anyways. Um, so those are the things that have been on my mind. I want to hear what you guys think in the comments uh, about what's going on here in the United States, about the inflation, um, even moving out uh, to a different country and living and retiring in a different country. Uh, you know, it's easier to do nowadays because people can work remotely. Uh, if you have a decent YouTube channel, um, anywhere near the, my size channel, you can make enough to live comfortably down there. Um, so it's something to, to consider. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I want to hear what you guys think and speak among yourselves in the comments. And um, keep it clean. And um, I will see you in my next video.